get in there. What was that? The last of them. Better than nothing. Men coming! <laughs> You don't need these. Okay. Stop. All right, this has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. 
I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. This crafting, yes, 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 good. Deke, you there? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. sound like like yourself it's not it's nothing you know i just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes i let her go one of these days deke that code of yours it's gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what deacon out Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right, someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch, I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit, I think it's just... Try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. I've restored your radio public. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> no, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into Savages, about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Copeland out. Radio Free Oregon. Jeez. 
Jesus, what have I done? Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. I'll find out when I get there. Dig it out. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad hey, tracks. Deacon out. I thought I saw someone out there. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, Booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Boozer up. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest of the desert. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. Yeah. Deke, you there? Did you say you were heading north? Who's man? No. You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care, Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out.
Another bounty. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Gotta take a closer look. This. I just saw a goddamn chopper! Chopper? Wait, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper showed up out of nowhere? I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. now, can't we? Seems 
Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, I'm here. When we rode out of Farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, wait. You went into their LZ? What the...
listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Eek. Don't. I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. Are you there? Yeah, D. Take care of it. Thanks, brother. Maybe she did the same for us. Yeah, she did. I got a use for you. Okay. Okay. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them even under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and waiting for all this time. They crawl up out of their holes and remain this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men... Shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus, Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except, uh, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. <laughs> Another MMU. Wonder what Nero left behind.
I smell it. <sighs> Gotta be getting close. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I'm telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? 
Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, so damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do, but look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott, what do you want, Drifter? What's your
your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Tucker, I hear you. St. John out. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Still here. <laughs> How many years is it going to take before all of this is finally gone? Nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. <laughs> Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Who's I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out.
Tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you, and then I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was going to be a life like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on! Stabbed me! Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Just hold this here as soon as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Good enough. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell. Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How are you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, shit. Mm. 
And now, you don't want to be able to come through. We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. All right. All right, see if you can rest over here. Hey, right. easy, easy. So much for my little sister, you know. Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been good my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We gotta go that way. Ah. Come on. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Oh, yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Okay, okay, everyone hold up. Easy, easy. What are you saying? Uh, okay. You get attention. I'm gonna try to sneak up behind him, okay? It's nothing, it's nothing, Coco. Got this, go! Hold on, go! Fuck you! Oh! Yeah, we see that gun's done. Not stupid. Sir? Hey, 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 hey! I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! Get out! Now listen to me, listen to me! My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out! There's a helicopter! You killed her! So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about you being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. Get to him! Get to him! Get to him! She's not whatever the hell's going on out there. She's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Let's go. We gotta get on that. We gotta get on that. Chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know. Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me.
You, uh... You rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, man. I know. Yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but... I guess Boozer's right. I can't... I can't help myself. It's, uh... It's like I said. I'll be back.